Well, welcome back to Crank Town City. And today, I got me a sheet of metal that I gotta cut and a broken plasma cutter. Cut, cut back to that clip. Fuck! Well, let's start by getting this guy taken apart. Seeing if we see any shit stains in there and... Whoa! Off to a banging start. So the idea today is I'm gonna fix this old plasma cutter that I had on the CNC machine. Get this torch fitted into there new ground clamp. I gutted this machine. It's going to take some doing. That way I can use this as my primary plasma cutter that's not on the CNC machine and use this only as a TIG welder and hopefully that'll make this stop blowing up because it seems to only blow up when I'm using it as a plasma cutter. So let's get this thing going plug it in, see if there's anything wrong with it, see if we have a big capacitor blow up. I, it should work just fine. And then once we're done with that, gotta reroute some air lines and build a little, little drawer for it to sit on so it's out of the way but still easily accessible. So just following the wires here, this is gonna be the main voltage for the torch. This is the pilot arc and this is for the trigger and this is the airline. So we're just going to hardwire this thing right into there and then hopefully I have some kind of strain relief connector I can use on here. now. Snap. Well, my actual soldering iron isn't working, so let's see how this little guy works. Well, it didn't work great, but it worked sort of, kind of enough. All right, I don't know how to crimp that. <laughs> Give it a whack. Got all our connections made on the ground. Got all our connections made on the torch. Just gotta put it together. got it all together, got the trigger hooked on, 
Got the airline not hooked up. Oops. So got it all hooked up. Got our trigger plugged in. The airline is bushed down and connected. Got the there's the torch, there's the ground, and the pilot torch all hooked up. My ground, actually my work ground is just a short little four foot cable. And we are on a piece of flat bar and I guess it's time to test. A little scared, don't remember why I took this off of the CNC machine. But I'm sure there was a reason. Let's just add a little safety here. Yeah, let's say plugged in, didn't blow up. Switch. It's on. Standing back as far as I can. Moment of truth. works now let's see it under load still standing back I can't tell if that was still a pilot arc or not good works so I've cleaned up a little bit and in my cleaning I've decided I don't need a little drawer slide thing because that would just bring this out and it would be annoying while I'm using it, which I'd rather it be annoying never. So I'm just going to have it tucked way back in there. The only thing I'm ever going to need to hit is the on switch, which granted that that will be annoying, won't it? But you know, the amount that I use a hand plasma cutter it can be annoying sometimes, that's okay. Um, so, found some of this one inch angle iron, got some one inch square tube. I'm just gonna make a little enclosure that it will sit in and then weld that underneath the bench. the machine down there pretty difficult to operate but whatever it will be very rare now I need to figure out how I'm gonna dangle this core I mean shit just a hook right there we're golden roll up the torch and we hang the torch. There you go. It's out of the way. It doesn't annoy me. I think we're good. Okay, so now we have to deal with this tangled mess. So, since I'm only going to be using this machine as a TIG welder, I only need the argon coming over here so I can probably cut it right here and go straight into that thingy and then this one I can cut right here and have that go down into the plasma cutter now let's get that air on hooked huh this is always fun 
Oops. I think it's this one. Oh yeah. I don't have time for a pipe cutter. I'm just gonna say screw it here. Yeah, nice and square, right? All right, so I went ahead and built the pieces off camera. This is just a half inch female adapter bushed down to quarter inch onto one of these little hoses with a quick connect on the other end. And that's what I got for each of these. So now we just gotta sweat them. Got me a nice little scrap plate. It has some sort of a heat shield. That'll do. She got a little hot over there. Still haven't burnt the house down though. Air's in. Only leak I hear are the existing ones that, you know, I'll fix it someday. Got that guy mounted. Let's flip her on. turns on without blowing up that's always a good sign flip that it all works I had a pretty simple boring video today but that's all I had so you know thanks for watching if you liked what you saw Give me a subscribe, maybe check out my other videos, and I'll see you next time.